So I'm curious about the performance, right? So when looking at the fun fact sheet, the IDX30 index is about at negative 1%, but the principal um, IDX30 fund is above 2%. So there's this um, gap, right, on the performance. And, and I'm just wondering why, why is that? Because it's an index fund, right? Yeah. Um, the key is um, the excess return mm. was generated not because we are overweight or underweight mm. because it is a index fund we only invest in the index constituents mm. in the same percentage but the only difference i wanted to highlight will be when we talk about the index it is based on the price that's why we call it as a price index so it only captures the changes in the price movement Whereas in the fund, we are able to enjoy the dividend income as well. So the excess return is contributed mm. because of the dividends that we have received. And the good news is in 2023, um, our markets have been very blessed because most of our commodity companies mm. did very well. Mm. And so they declared lots of dividends. And that's why the fund this year, if I'm not mistaken, generated almost three and a half percent in dividend income mm. alone. And that helped in the um, uh, additional uh, investment performance. What's, what's the difference between an index fund versus a um, fund with a with a specific strategy? For example, like uh, the total return equity fund versus an index fund. What are the um, upsides or downsides, um, pros and cons of the two different types of funds? Yeah. So any investment decision, correct? So we only look at two parameters uh, um, on this particular analysis. One is what is the risk we are taking and what is the return that we are generating. Mm -hmm. Of course, there is one more element called liquidity, but that doesn't come into this particular context because we are talking about equities in right. both sides, you understand now. So when you invest in an index fund, basically it is going to mirror the performance of the underlying stocks mm -hmm. constituents, okay? So basically, you are not taking any risk upside or downside, but we are delivering. Yeah. There is a reason why these products are becoming more and more popular. In the good old days, information was not freely available, mm. correct? Right. Information was uh, uh, asset. Yeah. Not everybody had, in those days, we did not have the mass communication and nobody had. So it is a privileged information, yeah. you understand now? So the fund managers in those days were able to use that information and they were able to actively manage and generate alpha yeah. whereas in today the information is freely available you understand now so that competitive advantage because of the information that you have is slowly coming down yeah. that is why as long as the information is freely available as long as the market is trading in an um, efficient manner the price is automatically realized in mm. the market you understand now so the theory is in today's context X generating alpha is very very difficult because all the information is already out there right. and the price is already reflecting all the information that is available yeah. you understand yeah. now so the current market price in an efficient market already reflects mm -hmm. the true opportunity that is there mm -hmm. you understand now? and that is why there is a historical trend where people are moving from active management to passive management simply because they feel it is already efficiently priced and appropriate but I don't want to get into the complex theory to complicate your viewers. But in simple terms, what are we trying to do in an index fund? Uh, we are trying to capture the opportunity of equity market investing without taking too much of a risk. Mm. And we are not investing in an index which has like 1,000 companies, right? Mm. We are only choosing an index which has only 30 companies. Right. And these 30 companies are the best, the brightest in the Indonesian market. And they actually contribute to 57% of the market capitalization of the entire Jakarta Composite Index. So basically, they reflect the whole index in its truest form, you understand now? And that is an easy way to invest and less risky because these are all blue chip companies, proven track record, 
proven performance so you are capturing the real benefit from the best of the companies in the Indonesian economy mm. and this is the easiest way to enjoy the advantage of investing in the equity market so clearly it is something that is appropriate especially for somebody new to equity market this could be a easy strategy safe strategy mm -hmm. and people who want to invest for the long term this also could be a very ideal strategy mm -hmm. without taking too much of volatility right, right. right. So. okay and so I think um, yeah that that could you elaborate a little bit more on the terms of this on the audience that this is best suited for i think you mentioned earlier that people are just starting out and yeah. um, what kind of time horizon is is ideal for this type of product how many years <clears throat> So I am, belong to a old school, you know. So, um, so I am not the kind of a person who is very excited mm. to promote speculative mm. activity, mm. right? So when you are investing your hard-earned money, mm -hmm. you need to be very careful. Right. That is our basic principle, right? right? Um, so we always advise people: if you are investing in equity, it is only for the longer term. Mm -hmm. If you have a short-term goal, then you should not be in equities. Mm. You understand mm -hmm. now? Very, very clear. Mm -hmm. If you are not comfortable in taking volatility, you should not enter uh, equities because if you get very anxious because the market is moving up and down every day, this product is not for you. You understand? Now, so this product is only appropriate for people who uh, have the appetite to take the market volatility and most importantly have the time on their side. So if you have longer time, the volatility is uh, short term changes because of what is going on right, in the world right, constantly right. it is moving but in the long term the companies will be able to deliver the fundamental uh, growth opportunity and profit opportunity that they are working on they will be able to deliver so minimum three to five years should be the out in, in developed markets mm -hmm. people only look at 20 years 30 years so right. if you you know yeah. in us 401k they are looking at 20 years 30 years mm -hmm. investment mm -hmm. from an indonesian context at least you should have a minimum three years five years horizon mm -hmm. before you get into the equity mm -hmm. okay now if you have that kind of a time obviously active fund management is also good but if you are a first timer in the equity market, then I would suggest an index fund because these are the safest uh, companies because they are all proven track record, blue chip companies. They are all declaring good dividends, so they will be able to provide price appreciation as well as dividend income. So it would be very, very appropriate for newcomers into the equity market as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Papa Naresh, for that um, insight. And I think also for our viewers, teman-teman, ya, kalau mungkin ada yang mau uh, mencoba untuk masuk ke equity market, tapi belum pernah, ini adalah salah satu opportunity ya, untuk masuk ke index fund. Seperti tadi sudah diceritakan, ini itu konstituennya adalah saham-saham kapitalisasi terbesar di uh, IHSG. Thank you to Principal Asset Management. Um, dan uh, saya juga berharap banget bahwa konten-konten ini adalah yang bermanfaat buat teman-teman supaya bisa semakin uh, wise dan semakin pandai berinvestasi untuk manage uh, keuangan supaya kita semua bisa sejahtera ya teman-teman so uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe